Good morning, AFCON family. Hope this video finds you well. Welcome to my guest room bedroom. Uh, this is surreal that we are in week two of our COVID quarantine, but I am so grateful that we do have the opportunity to connect through social media and also be able to have times of worship through online videos and to have the opportunity to hear God's word preached and um, just to hear from our family as a church. Um, this morning for our worship time, I'm going to be playing the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. But there is an incredible story that goes along with this hymn and how this hymn even came to be. So I just wanted to take a few minutes before I play It Is Well With My Soul to tell you about the events that led to it being written. So it was written by a man named Horatio Spafford in 1873. Um, he was a successful attorney in Chicago, and he was also a real estate developer. He was married, had five children, and was a very devout Christian. Um, but in 1871, the Great Fire of Chicago happened, and in that fire, he lost his fortune. Around the same time, he had one son, and his four-year-old son died from scarlet fever at the same time. So he had two very devastating losses happen in a really short period of time. Um, in an attempt to cheer his wife and daughters, he sent them to England for vacation. The plan was they were going to go ahead of him. He had some business affairs to take care of in Chicago, so they went ahead and he was going to follow. While they were making their voyage to England, there was a terrible disaster. Um, the ship was involved in a collision and sank. His wife survived, but his four daughters lost their lives at sea. When his wife arrived in England, she sent him a message and it simply stated, saved alone, what shall I do? Well, he immediately um, booked a passage to England to meet her there. Um, but the ship captain was aware of his circumstances. And when they reached the spot in the waters where his daughters had lost their lives, he, he told um, this man where they were. And as Horatio Spafford was standing there on the ship in this location, in these waters, that is where he wrote the hymn we know as it is well with my soul. And you look at these words, when peace like a river attendeth my way. So when everything's going good, pre-fire, pre-scarlet fever, pre-shipwreck, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrow like sea billows roll, which he was there in the ocean in the sea with the waves. And just what a picture. Then he says this, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet, though trial should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. So therein is the secret. I wondered, like, as I read this story, how in the world could someone who had experienced this kind of loss write, it is well with my soul? You know, he's not pretending like this didn't happen or sweeping it under a rug or, you know, all the things that sometimes we think that someone would have to do to write, it is well with my soul. But you see here, I think right in this verse, that his, per his perception, his perspective shifts. And not only is he aware of the tr great tragedy and his loss, but he's also aware of who Jesus is and that he's not alone in this. And that not only is, is, is God aware of his helpless estate, Jesus shed his own blood for his soul. And then, and from there, he writes about the freedom that comes from knowing that his sins, not in part, but the whole, are nailed to his cross, and I bear them no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. And then it ends with this, And Lord, haste the day when my faith shall be sight. 
the clouds be rolled back like a scroll, the trump shall resound, and the Lord shall descend. And then he goes all the way back, even so, even though I've lost my fortune, even though my son has died from scarlet fever, even though my daughters were lost at sea, even though I am separated from my wife who is on another continent right now, in spite of all of the earthly circumstances that are so terribly wrong in my life, even so, I can say it is well with my soul. And the perspective there is eternal. You know, with everything we have going on, of course we can focus on the uncertainty. Just the fact that I am recording this in a back bedroom in my house, instead of sitting with you in church this morning, worshiping together in our beautiful sanctuary, this isn't, this isn't normal. This is really different. And we all have circumstances in our lives, whether it's relationships, finances, our jobs. Maybe it's something we're struggling with that's personal and private and other people aren't even aware of it. Whatever it is, this song to me, it just paints a beautiful picture of how we can just live our life in this place where we have all this stuff swirling, the sea billows rolling, but we can be centered and calm and have the assurance that Christ sees us where we are and he is coming for us. This is not the end. Nope. This is not the end. This is just the beginning and we have eternity. We have the hope of heaven and that is what allows us to say it is well with my soul.